Hey everyone, welcome to day five of our Ovation of the Seas Alaskan cruise. We are having so much fun today. We are cruising the Endicott Arm, visiting the Dawes Glacier, and headed over to Juneau, Alaska. It's gonna be an amazing day, so check it out. Well, good morning. We are sitting here with our coffee inside Fish and Ships on deck 14. The wind jammer is closed. It's 5.30 in the morning. Enjoying the icebergies, the view of the mountains. I'll show you what we're seeing this morning. The icebergs, the beautiful views. The wind on deck 15 is really cold right now. It's extra, extra icy burr. So if you come down to 14 though, into the fish and chips, the wind is blocked and you can still see the ice and drink your coffee and it's much warmer. I love watching the icebergs go by. It's really quiet on the deck this morning. The mountains are massive. You cold? Actually, I'm not as cold as I was before. Are you? It's chilly, definitely. I think that's the Dawes Glacier through the crack there. It is the Dawes Glacier. I think this is about as far as we're gonna get up the Endicott arm today. There's so many little icebergs. I'll try and zoom in on the Dawes Glacier so you can get a closer look. The North Star is running this morning with the paid experience. The ship is spinning so that all the cabins get a really nice view of the glacier. What I really enjoyed is the staff went around serving hot chocolate and coffee to all of us watching the views. This is so amazing out here this morning. Are your fingers cold? My fingers yeah, are cold. cold fingers. It's quite cold out here this morning, but the colors are gorgeous. I see a boat coming in and I'm wondering if it's for the glacier excursion there. It is, and they're here to pick up the passengers to go close to the glacier. They'll meet up with us later in Juneau. It's time for us to go get some breakfast in the main dining room. Breakfast in the dining room. So Ken and I decided we needed a little more sleep this morning and we went back to bed and had a two hour nap. Yeah, feels I, a lot better. It I feel a, much better. <laughs> it was a really early morning, so that definitely helped. Um, we're still probably two hours away from Juno or being able to get off the ship, mm -hmm. but we did go book the Gold Dalt tram and we're excited about that. So that's the tram that goes up. I think it's the Mount Roberts that yeah. goes up yeah. um, right from downtown Juneau. We're gonna be doing that. We're gonna explore downtown and just have an awesome day in Juneau. So um, we'll be sailing into Juneau shortly. It's the 4th of July today as well. We forgot to mention that. We've been so busy. They're having a balloon drop tonight. Time to get more coffee. Yeah. Draw it down. <laughs> I see another ship off in the distance. It looks like it's closer into Juneau. The North Star is up there. How's the coffee? It's good, nice and hot. <laughs> and a little pick me up. We're gonna try some fish and ships for lunch here over on deck 14. 
Fish and Ships is open today from 11.30 to 5. Let's go get some lunch. Some of the complimentary options, of course, include fish and chips. They've got fried shrimp and chips, chicken fingers and chips, crispy fish sandwiches, and for $12, fried lobster tail basket and chips. The fish and chips. Good luck, Jen. And the shrimp. Fried shrimp. And fries. How is it? Good. Okay. Sailing into Juneau this afternoon, we've got several ships here, including the Norwegian Bliss, Princess's Grand Princess, Holland America Westerdam, and on the other side of the ship, we have Cunard's Queen Elizabeth. As we dock here in Juneau, you can see the buses waiting for passengers to arrive for their excursions. Now we're lucky we get to walk right off this morning. Some ships do tender here in Juneau. Remember to bring your ID, such as your passport or your driver's license. There are excursions available here in Juneau. You can see the booths here right at the dock. So we want to go see the whale statue here at the Over Street Park. And it's a 17 minute walk here from the ship. This is our third time here in Juneau mm -hmm. and we have never gone to see the whale. So we're going to make it happen today. It's <laughs> priority number one. <laughs> priority one. Oh. We walked right by the totem pole as well. Right here by the ship. Great spot for photos. You're also right next to downtown. So easy access to all the stores, shopping, restaurants. The city bus is over here as well. This is a great spot here on the wharf to grab photos of the ships in downtown. So as we came into port, we passed the Norwegian Bliss. Now we were on the sister ship, the Norwegian Joy in 2019 to Alaska, and it was a really nice ship. Five minutes, Over Street Park. Having fun? I am, it's lovely, it's really, it's nice. This park features a beautiful walkway. Some totem poles. And some art. There is the whale way down there. So the last couple of times we've been here, we've actually gone out to the Mendenhall Glacier in Nugget Falls. So we're not going to be doing that today, but I will link a video to that below in the description. If you do want to see what it's like out there at Mendenhall Glacier, that's a ton of fun as well here in Juneau. Are you gonna drink from the fountain? No. <laughs> whale water? Every few minutes, I guess the whale sprays water. We are gonna head back towards downtown, but conveniently, there's a food land across the street that we can grab some drinks. They have pretty good prices on beverages there if you happen to be walking by, um, and a big selection of drinks as well. So, should we head towards the downtown area and yeah. explore that? Yeah. It's not too far from here, back towards the ship. So I see this sign here and there's all these things to go see, but it shows hiking stairs for 13 minutes to the mining basin. That seems like a lot of stairs. Let's 13, go do it. 13 minutes of stairs to the mining basin? Yeah, I'll beat you to it. All right, we'll go for it. That's gonna... That might explode. <laughs> Tired yet? <laughs> Cruise ship docks, eight to 36 minutes. 
I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big, big variety. I think it's eight minutes to ours. Yeah. Hey puppy. Hey buddy. Hi. I thought it was 13 minutes of stairs. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> maybe three, four minutes of yeah. stairs. <laughs> it's kind of a relief. <laughs> It's still a lot of stairs. Yeah. This is how you keep your car clean in Alaska. You put it inside a plastic bag. Alaska State Capitol. William Henry Seward. Sue. Hey, buddy. Some cute bookstores and cafes down here in downtown. There's actually quite a bit to see down here in downtown. There is. There's lots of stores, there's museum, mm -hmm. different exhibits to check out. Mm -hmm. Lots to take in. At the corner of South Franklin and Front Street, you will find Alaska's first food truck park. You'll find all sorts of offerings, including Dave's Fish Tacos, Crepe Escape, and more. Continuing down South Franklin, you'll find the Alaskan Fudge Company. We're gonna peek inside and look at the fresh fudge they've just made. There's so many different flavors in here, including sea otter paws and husky paws. A little further down, you're gonna find the famous Red Dog Saloon. You can stop in for a drink or head into their mercantile and grab some souvenirs. They've got everything from hats to their t-shirts and more. Suspenders. Yeah, they're like Alaskan. From the Red Dog Saloon. <laughs> Dude, I was, I was Just lots there. of shops down here. So, great place to grab your souvenirs. And don't forget to check out Tracy's King Crab Shack. If you want some crab, I hear this is the place to go. It's a staple here in Juneau. It's time for us to ride the Gold Belt Tram up Mount Roberts. Now we have an open-ended ticket so we can go at any time during the day and we can ride it as many times as we like. It goes up 1800 feet, it takes six minutes and it has a maximum speed of 23 miles per hour. Let's head on inside. In here you'll find a coffee shop, a ticket booth and the current pricing during our visit was $50 for adults and $35 for children. Each tram holds 60 people and we'll wait in line here and while we wait we can learn all about the cable system. Now this tram uses a double reversible or jig back system. There are two trams, one is called the Raven and the other is called the Eagle. We are ascending 1,800 feet above sea level on the only aerial tramway here in southeast Alaska. We will be passing through an Alaska temperate rainforest, which averages 90 inches of rain and 100 inches of snow per year. Some of the trees you may notice are the western hemlock, the Sitka spruce, and red oak. The Sitka spruce gets its name from a Clinket Island called Asiatica Hot. That was a fun ride up. Yeah, I really appreciate this viewing station that they have right at the top so you can see out without any obscured glass. Mm -hmm. Let's go visit the mountain station. Inside, you can get your caffeine fix at their coffee shop. They've got artifacts. You can check out a carving. And they've got a large souvenir shop. 
with all your gold belt tram gear, magnets, and more. Heading downstairs, you'll find a casual restaurant called The Timberline. Here you can get your fish and chips, your burger, or dessert. They've also got a complimentary theater if you'd like to learn more. This is my new friend. Is that Barry? Barry. Outside, we'll check out the viewing platform before we head out on our hike. From here, we can see the ships and the docks below. And the tower for the trams. And the massive cables. So when you get up here, it is much colder than it is down at the pier. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe bring a coat or a jacket or a sweatshirt. And, and I just killed a mosquito. It must have been the size of a nickel. Like it was that <laughs> big. It was huge. It was attacking me. <laughs> Razor sharp teeth. <laughs> so we are here and I think we're going to go do the orange loop and down to the cross and then all the way back. The nice eagles stretch. are the eagles are bigger than you. <laughs> the orange trail is actually called the Alpine Loop Trail. It's a half mile loop with many great viewing platforms. The Queen Elizabeth is leaving for the day. I'm so glad it wasn't foggy here today. We got amazing weather for this. Because sometimes you can't see the ships I hear. If you're going to hike to the cross, it's an extra quarter mile in each direction. We can go have a snowball fight, Andrea. The Alpine Loop Trail has an elevation gain of 150 feet and 60 stairs. Mosquitoes are coming out, Andrea. I have bug spray, but I don't think we can No. So you can hike up here from town, two and a half miles down that way. Don't make the mistake and go the wrong way. We're basically back at the main building and we were about an hour on the trails. So yeah, a really nice hike, uphill, downhill, lots of great lookouts. And we took lots of pictures in that time as well. So really, really beautiful up here. An amazing day. We are back. So I think we're gonna head back into town, down the tram again. You ready to go back to the show? I am. It's yeah. been a fun and beautiful day here in Juneau, but mm -hmm. I'm ready to go back. Yeah, really a nice boardwalk down here as well, right by the ship. Again, the Tracy's King Crab Shacks right there and all the ships down here along the water. So let's head back to the ship and we have dinner reservations tonight as well. So good to know when you come back to the ship in Juneau, you're required to have government issued photo ID for everyone over the age of 18. And they were checking. They were. They said it's a little bit different because it's not a private pier or dock. So mm. yeah, for that it was, reason. It was a public pier, they said. I, I did ask them, I was just curious. And they said, because it was public, it's required to show your government issued ID. So not just your room key, but 
that idea as well. As well. So. so don't leave it in your safe. Make sure you bring it with. Yeah. Uh, dinner time. We're gonna get cleaned up and head for dinner. And yeah, we're hungry now after all yeah. that walking, all that hiking. I know. Ready to eat. Special Fourth of July dinner menu. We're by the window. And Juno is still. Thank you, Malone family. Thank you, Malone. That was another amazing day in Alaska. Yes. So much happened today. It was amazing. It was a full day. Like we started off at five in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did have a little snooze in there, so it's like two days in one, but it was a long, amazing day in the Endicott Arm, sailing up the Endicott Arm to Dawes the Glacier. Dawes Glacier, and then Juno. to Juno, exploring, going up the, the tram there, the Gold Belt Tram. So much fun. That was so much more than I expected going up mm -hmm. to the, up the tram. My suggestion to you though, if you are doing the Gold Belt Tram would be to wait wait and see how the weather is. We waited today, till today and bought our tickets um, because I've heard other people go and it's rain, rainy and or foggy, or, foggy cloudy. or clouded over and they haven't been able to see anything. So um, that would be one of our suggestions anyway. It's fun to take the tram, but what really made the experience amazing for me was actually getting to hike up there yeah and with amazing views and the hike yeah, yeah. so and for me i don't want to hike if it's muddy mm -hmm. or like not the best or of weather raining, so. some of you are more adventurous than us but for me personally i i need the nice weather for that mm -hmm. um, but dinner another nice meal too. another nice meal so we went to the american icon grill again so they kind of designate which one we go to so tonight we had the window in there while we were actually still in Juneau, we could see a few pier runners <laughs> running to the ship who were just about late, so. Yeah, we were there around eight o'clock though, and it was pretty quiet tonight. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people being in port late changed their yeah. dinner plans. To the point, it was this, so fairly quiet. Even our waiter from last night came over from the separate section to chat with us. So it was definitely a little quieter. Yeah, in yeah. some ways it's really nice because you have an opportunity to chat with the wait staff. Mm -hmm. and they've all been so friendly and so attentive and mm -hmm. yeah. it's been a really nice dining experience. But let's talk about what we had. Yes, okay. I had a Caesar salad. I'm not gonna talk about that. It's a Caesar salad, it was good. But I also had something called the Buffalo Chicken Dip. Which, I had it too. Which is chips and a really, Good dip, buffalo chicken dip. So there is <laughs> big chunks of chicken in it. Yeah. It said it was spicy. I didn't find it spicy. It wasn't that spicy, no. And maybe a little warm. It's baked, so it's like hot and mm -hmm. cheesy. It reminded me kind of like an artichoke jo dip, yeah. dip kind of thing. So It was good, really mm -hmm. good. And um, lots of chips with it. Because it's 4th of July, they did kind of a special 4th of July menu. Mm -hmm. um, so it was a little bit different than normal. A lot of the same sort of stuff on it, but they had a whole menu done up for that of what was on the menu. <laughs> I think a lot of like what they would think were American themed yeah. type food options. Mm -hmm. So I also, like I said, had that buffalo chicken dip, but then I also had the baked potato soup, which was small, but divine. It was- You enjoyed it? I know you said you did. It's like comfort yeah. food to the max. It was yeah. really good. I, I didn't try it, but it looked good. No, I wasn't going to share. It was that good. <laughs> <laughs> and then for the main course, I had the beef brisket. So that was fries and a lot of uh, like some thick slices of beef brisket. And that was delicious. I enjoyed that. And then you had uh, maple and bourbon glazed salmon, which came with mashed potatoes, mushrooms, which I love. And I don't usually eat these, but they were actually okay. Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had fish for lunch and dinner then, because we had fish and chips for well, lunch. Well, I did. We yeah. must be in Alaska. Yeah, so. And then we had the same dessert. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we each had our own though. Well, the warm <laughs> apple crumble, so kind of like a apple crisp, crisp. crisp style <laughs> of, of dessert with ice cream. It came with vanilla ice cream. That was really good as well. 
I was really torn though because I wanted to go with the strawberry shortcake as well and I couldn't decide but I also knew I just didn't have I think you both. changed your mind at the last second well it, I, I knew Ken was gonna have ice cream and if I wasn't gonna have some <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was gonna be jealous so no it was really good and it was yeah. it was a nice meal by the window mm -hmm. A really nice time and then we went from that straight away it was the sail away right as we were leaving there so gorgeous sail away the sun was setting and you could see all the ships as we sailed out of Juneau. So. It was a little cold I actually hid inside while you were standing <laughs> out there enjoying it I was looking through the glass it was very very pretty but mm. a little bit a little bit yeah. chilly now still a few ships in port after us tonight and we left closer to nine yeah. or yeah. if it was not after nine maybe even so even busy though day. yeah busy day there in Juneau um, any other final thoughts on today? Anything else we wanted to talk about or? Well, I'm excited that I found a duck tonight. Oh, you did find a duck. Yes. Yeah, you did. that was yeah, fun. Cute little duck. So, um, so that has been our day here, day five. Yes. Um, on the Ovation of the Seas. What a fun day it was. Tomorrow is a sea day and there's still so much to explore. We're still finding new things to explore here on the ship. So it's been a lot of fun here on Ovation. So make sure you join us tomorrow for Day six, which is a sea day, and we will see you tomorrow. We're going to head to bed. Good night.